going on guys Kyger in today's video I want to talk to you about professions I want to tell you where you're messing up how you can do it easier and what benefits you'll reap let's get into it <laughs> So if you take a look, uh, I haven't really been focusing professions almost at all, but I have two of them maxed and two of them almost maxed. How did I do that? So blacksmithing and cooking, are there's actually cheat codes in it already for the game. So if we take a look, guild, guild shop, at the top we have normal, but then to the side, ingredients. So as you see, I bought almost all of them and I'm working towards the last one right there let's even take a look at this last one a profession a box containing materials required for cooking level 7 promotion so once I get the last uh, 4700 ish then I'll open that box go to profession go to cooking and all of these items right here are going to be in there and just to show you if we take a look at my book collection Oh, sorry, I can just go from profession cooking. You can see there's a lot that I have not done. I will have on my Discord link down below. I will have an infographic with all of the unlock requirements for all of them. Uh, I've tested on, on uh, most of the ones from 1 and 2, and they all worked perfectly fine. Uh, I will be testing them in the next couple days to make sure everything here works once I get level 7. But everything appears to be working and I've gotten reports saying all of them are working correctly. Now, blacksmithing. What is the cheat code for blacksmithing? And that would actually be over here in Path of Growth, Subjugation. So all these items that are dropping, as well as this currency over here, Subjugation Tokens, will be used in the blacksmithing upgrade so if we take a look uh, I believe towards the end it wants you to get stuff like this 1150 points as you see I have 3000 points right now uh, so I can grab this it has the one um, uh, ascension star and I can turn that in for the um, ascension for blacksmithing so I can use my daily entries of um, sub path of growth subjugation to either get the drops themselves or to get the tokens that I can then use for them I'm also getting the um, transmutation uh, um, transcendence pieces as well as the uh, pieces for crafting for your outfits which will also give you stat bonuses so that is a cheat code for that so we really only have to really touch up processing and alchemy but first I want to tell you some break points that you want to be looking at so with cooking for example uh, cooking is going to be one of the fastest ones that you can level up and you want to get to level 4 cooking uh, really f as fast as possible because this is the easiest way to start making magicians research logs these books right here are skill points towards upgrading your skills uh, leveling your character up to 70 does not give you enough skill points to level everything you have to craft these books uh, it'll be cheaper once we get to alchemy 6 which we'll talk about shortly uh, this is a little bit more as you see it requires uh, these pieces eternal leaves and enchantment shards and six research log pieces once we get to um, alchemy will be a lot cheaper but this is the first one that you can get to and you can get to cooking for day one day two if you want to fish and do all that you can get that in a day or two if you want to take it slow and just do it on the back end with the guild stuff it'll take you almost a week to get to where I'm at right now blacksmithing there isn't anything specifically you're looking out for but what is nice is uh, when you get any of these gear from the raids uh, you can upgrade them so take for example uh, foggy prison right here the weapon itself doesn't really do the greatest stuff but if it has um, bad substats you can upgrade it so you can go from 
five star to five star one ascension and all the substats will get rolled now instead of going directly to the two ascension if any of these that you can go down and over like right here they will have secondary effects like right here increases the uh, skill level of a random attribute research level by one cannot exceed max what that means is if we go over here to skills uh, at the top attribute research the five elements uh, so um, let's say I rolled a fire it would give me 1% bonus damage for fire as long as I have the fire one equipped so that one in particular isn't the best but it is just showing you what happens here so if we take a look if you go across that way and down even then we finish with this increase the skill level of a random attribute research by two now you get a two percent bonus and all of the gear that we have so far all do things like this let's look at the very newest top seal weapon increases monster attack as well as uh, if it rolls light or dark weapon you can either receive less pvp damage or deal more pvp damage which is very very sought after stats now now we have cooking and blacksmithing done all we have left is processing and alchemy processing is very very easy it's just go and mine go and uh go and um gather you can even get a lot of these just by doing the daily events uh the fishing event the gathering event the mining event just from those you can get a lot of the stuff the rest you will get from exploration captain right over here the lizard man there's a side quest that shows you how to use him and you can pick what he explores each of these tabs it says the element so this one's green blue red green blue uh, if we get a new one in the future it will probably be red you can see squad right here you initially start with two and the third one costs 3,000 crystals it sounds like a lot but I recommend grabbing it even if you're free to play with the uh, chunk of crystals you get to start with this will give you a lot of stuff and really the uh, you can send them I'm going to pay the 12 crystals right here just to show you how it works you pick whatever you want let's say I want these branches because I need branches for a lot of things you set the difficulty which changes the uh, power requirement down here um, and then it tells you at the bottom what you're going to get so if I go one two three four five six uh, I took off their runes I could put on runes to make them hit that number or I can turn down the difficulty and now they hit that threshold it also lowered the amount of stuff I get you send them out you can also change the time two four or six hours you come back check on them I generally check it three times a day I don't wake up in the middle of the night to check it on that fourth time which would theoretically be the best way to do it but life over game uh, then that's going to help you with your processing and your alchemy uh, pick uh, what you want to go after theoretically alchemy is the one that you want to progress but as you progress alchemy it's going to require you to have processing leveled up so if we take a look uh, these are the kinds of things it's looking for you see I have a, most of it to get my alchemy to seven and the cooking is going to be seven after I get that last little bit of guild coins then there's a master upgrade quest that is ridiculous I've seen the requirements for that that's going to take you a month to do with an average pace uh, but if we take a look with processing as we scroll down props for sale down here at the bottom uh, all these on that top row are ones you can sell for gold uh, stopping right here at the flame peacock which is 250k gold uh, the fancy handmade doll that you can make once per week sells for 500k but I recommend holding on to these because this is a requirement to build certain sets for outfits uh, I can actually show you right here closet dress room scroll down skilled fisherman for example handmade doll down here it requires 4 8 12 16 of them to finish uh, if you bring them to uh, level 7 so like I have this farmer one um, for cooking at level 7 gave me the outfit you can get all four of the outfits for free by getting them all to level 7 so you're looking at 3 6 9 12 you need 12 of those and then everything else is yours 
So processing, you can sell all the rest for gold. The two at the bottom have different requirements. They require lock shards, which are found from uh, boxes, uh, sorry, uh, treasure chests out in the open, and sharp stingers, which are daily um, event rewards um, given out kind of randomly. So if you're doing events, if you're opening up chests, you have the option of selling those two items additionally each week. Then you can craft the essences, but the essences from here and from cooking are a little expensive for what they are. And the best thing to craft uh, from processing is uh, the yarn balls. You only need a couple of the green ones to finish the two sets that you start off with. And then you need a lot of the blue ones to do effectively um, all the subjugations, things like that, outfits, which gives you bonuses to your monsters and to your uh, summoner. And then you need a lot of the purple ones to do ones for all the raids and things like that. Then last but not least, we talk about alchemy. So alchemy is going to allow you to get the gems, which if we look at masters where you get the highest ones, these are going to give you stats to your summoner or to your monsters. It could be things like monster attack bonus, blah, blah, blah. Then we have sunstones and moonstones, which are effects on your, oh, sorry, sunstones, moonstones, and, uh, no, 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 sorry. The gems and sunstones are for your equipment and the moonstones and galaxy stones and books are for your runes to give you stat bonuses. Uh, very important to notice, we have attack spell book, defense spell book, utility spell book. Utility will be things like um, movement, uh, move speed, uh, attack speed, things like that. Uh, runes, uh, I actually don't think any of these are worth crafting. Mainly they're going to be used for requirements for uh, alchemy, like down here, blade runes. Mainly that's what we're using that for. And even when we get to master for the runes, it is still blue runes. Maybe a great success gives you a purple, but still not worth it for the requirements. As we scroll down, then we get scrolls. You can craft an unlimited amount of unknown scrolls whenever you feel like it. Uh, if you have a bunch of these faint uh, magic cores, which are required for other crafting, this can be a throwaway to help you get some uh, creature book levels. Then you can craft uh, mystical scrolls three times a week right here, or once per day, making a free 10x per week. And as a free-to-play player, that's going to be something very, very important for you. Uh, symbols right here is we can craft the things we need for the tra uh, transmutation uh, for alchemy level 3 is all you need but then if we take a look down here uh, magician research log you can make three a week by doing uh, these down here I'm doing it but I don't really think it's all that worth it uh, and then this one I don't understand why you wouldn't want to break a book for pieces that doesn't make sense to me but uh, you'll see over here at Alchemy 6, which is also where we can make our 10x per week, is where we can do five uh, pieces for a book. For doing over here, Expedition, the regular Expeditions, you see it can drop a book or uh, eight pages. That's uh, theoretically almost three books a run, right? Uh, but this... Uh, uh, Research log is really a lower drop rate. You're looking at anywhere from a book and a half to three books per run. Uh, so it's a lot right there when you're doing it with the alchemy. But that's it, guys. Uh, once you get that done, then you do masters. Uh, every rank up, you get in uh, a new title. And with more titles, you get a background. And for every upgrade, you do get a scroll like right here at seven you see I'll get that outfit um, for uh, stat bonuses I will get that third item right there is a title and that first item is a legendary scroll uh, one through th six um, 
of all the upgrades is Mystical Scrolls and 7 is a Legendary Scroll. Master being a Transcendence Scroll and a title that not many people will have. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I missed anything. And remember, I will have that cooking infographic on my Discord link down below. Till next time, guys.